All right, I'm gonna add a little more newspaper under that window. You could even add tissue, anything you want. Everybody's got a newspaper. The bugs can come in, and the screen is still down, so I don't have my scissors. You know what I can do? I just realized that. Okay. That's a really good idea when I just sort of you can take the newspaper. And just run it here. And that'll keep it closed. That's a great idea. That is good. I like that. Okay. There you go. Good, good, good. And if you got nosy neighbors, just add some newspaper to that window there. And they can't look in. Perfect. All right. I should ask you anyway. I, I like it to be so dark at night time. I, mean, I need it to be dark, dark, dark. Alright. Go. And we are set for summer now. Not set for the electricity bill to go up, which it will now. Alright. There we go. I totally recommend this air conditioner. Knock on wood third year going and the other one's working they're really great and they're convenient because you can roll them all over the place and if you want to change around your room you unplug you just have to pull this out stick it in the other window you're good to go unlike the other window ones that are in the window holy cow that is too hard to move around this is great move it anywhere you want and if you, you know if you can move it somewhere in the winter to tuck it away it's great but it's it's big but it's not that big and it's nice and because I stick it right here so all right everyone have a great summer stay cool and thank you so much for watching and I appreciate a thumbs up and hey subscribe would be wonderful have a great day bye all right I hope this works you know I didn't hear the the, the beep maybe I was in the side hold on oh it's lit up here it's lit up so okay all right power Okay, now that says 75 degrees. Whether that means it's 75 degrees here, I, I don't. I never quite understood that. Thank you, God, for letting it work. <laughs> never take that for granted. Oh, well, it feels good already. All right, you want it on high. See, it's on high. You can go low. Timer, sleep. Now, you want, the highest is cool. I don't understand what dry means, and then fan. If somebody had asked me, how do you drain this? I only had water leaking from it one time, and I never had it from the other one, so I don't know anything about that. And then you wanna lower it to make it cooler. You just push it down. Oh, this is so good already, oh my goodness. And that's the limit. All right. Thank God it works. Oh, there it goes, kicking up higher. Oh. I think I don't remember how much this was. It was two or three hundred dollars. We got it from Amazon. It has wheels, so you can move it around, which is fantastic. I like this. It's centered in a really good spot right now, so. 
I'm happy with that. That's what it looks like in the window. I can, I'll be dropping the curtains, of course. See, now you can see a little bit of light under there. So I'm gonna put a little bit more newspaper to close that hole. But what's great is this woman put up all these spotlights and now my windows are closed, they're tight, and I don't have to look outside or hear anybody. So it's really nice. It's one thing that's nice about an air conditioner. It puts out all the sound and it'll be nice and cool in here. All right, I'm gonna turn this over. I think that's a good angle. We actually, I don't think I'll have a head, but it's about the window. Let's see. Let's see if that's good. All right, let me get somewhat comfortable. Some of this I locked in. This is going to save me a step, but I'll tell you what you need to do. Okay. Oh, good. I'm in it. I know this is my crappy house shirt, which should be burnt at the stake. I know. Okay, supplies. When you have this air conditioner, you will need tape. And you'll need a lot of tape. Don't lose your tape. You're going to need tape. Because this, this bastard, this is the troublemaker. As you can see, how much tape. Yeah, now I had really good tape. I had this clear tape. That's what's there. With like string in it. Strong tape. That's why it's still on. And I left it on because I don't have it. You could probably use duct tape. But it's a little bit messy. This does come off easier if you had to un unwrap it, but use what you have to use, but use the thick tape. If you have that little scotch tape, you're gonna have a problem. I would definitely recommend a nice thick tape. If you have to use duct tape, use duct tape. Also, if you could see I was running out, I even used saran wrap to wrap it because you do not want these connections to come undone. That is the problem with it. This, oh, and you need scissors. These are, I'm not sure if both of them are with one or from the other one. I have no idea. You'll have, you get another piece of these. You get at least two of them. And then you will need some newspaper. You'll need newspaper. So that's the supplies you need. Oh, and a pair of scissors to cut your tape or to cut your newspaper. You can also use cardboard if you have some cardboard. That's really good too. If you need a heavy duty extension cord, you'll need that because this is a three prong. This is three prong. This is a very heavy duty extension cord. So you'll need that because like I said, it's three prong. So that's the basics. Here's the air conditioner. Before you do this, make sure you clean out the filter. I reckon you could, some people would clean the filters out every week, which is great. Um, I ideally every two. And if you can't remember, at least once a month, the first of the month, clean your filters because it does work way, way, way better. Because it was so hot one time. And I said, you know, I don't think I cleaned the filter. Oh my God, the filters were so full of hair. We have cats. So, in dust. It, you, so clean the filters. If you can clean them once a week, that's good. But please do it at least once a month. It'll work much better. Um, don't, <laughs> you can't see it. At least, oh, here, it came off. Look at that. I had it near the, I don't know if you can see it, near the radiator. It melted. It got all melted, but I knew that could happen, but honestly, I had no, no place else to put it. It is tricky to slap it back in, and now that it melted, it's even harder, but now it won't do it. it oh, I got it on one, two, three. It's going to fall. Okay, here we go. So... The main part, the trouble part is slapping this into that. I'll zoom in differently. But getting it in this part, you have to make sure you get this into this piece. And it comes out. Don't even bother to keep clipping it in. Tape it in. Just tape it. Tape it in like I did. You will not be sorry because it will keep popping out. And one time when this came off, in the living room and I'm dying. I am so hot. I'm hot. My husband, he says, it's freezing in here. I'm like, freeze. I'm dying. He says, well, it's you. I says, well, something's wrong with the air conditioner. This had popped off. And when that comes off, you get all heat blowing out from the bottom. So you have to make sure it's in tight tape it because it's not going to stay. Then you put it in the window figure out which area you're going to need this more 
Oh, I suppose we'll go this way, so we'll put it here. I told you that would fall. I knew it would. All right. It's pretty easy to put in. See, but these windows don't fit because it's so, these are too big. That's why I have the newspaper to fill any gaps. I actually don't think I'm going to, I will, I see where the gap's going to be because I can't connect these two. These won't fit because my window's so small. They'll recommend you do it that way, but I don't have a side window. That option is out. So that's when you use the newspaper to fill the gaps. Jeez, what's in here? I can't even look at this newspaper. And then close it. And that's it. It's in. That's the problem, though, because now once it's in, how am I going to use the fan? But uh, I'll just use the air conditioner now. That's for that part. It's simple. Very easy. The hard part is connecting the tubing to that. Boy, it got dark in here, huh? Oh, come on. All right. All righty. I'm going to need that. Why am I pushing that away? So now the fun part is this damn tube. I'll have to move the camera so you can see where it goes. I'm going to bring, I'll move the camera. Hold on. Excuse my feet. They might be in the shot. Okay. Where are we? Can't see it. Where's my hand? Oh, okay. Here we go. So here's the back. This. And then this has to slide in to there. It's pretty easy. Just line it up. Oops. Can't see what's going on on the bottom there. No, I'm missing it. It looked good, didn't it? It needs to be flush. If this is open, you're going to get all hot air coming right out. Come on. All right, there we go. There we go. Now tape the living daylights out of that because if it falls out, you have a problem. Like you can see, I taped it here big time. Tape it here. You don't want this to come out. I don't care how many times you think you got it in screwed right, it's going to come out. You have to tape it. Be right there. Oh, it's not an annoying sound. Okay. All right. So I need to just tape that to this right here. You will not need to remove this until you take it out of the window. So don't worry about, oh no, I have to take it on and off. You never have to take it on and off until you're taking it out for this season. And just tape it good. And while you're at it, you now to go around this because you don't want that off. And that's it. Hold on. Let me cut this. This is such good tape, this one. What brand? Oh, this is Staples. This is a Staples tape. It's really a good tape. And I gotta go plug it in. Hold on, I can plug it in and we will cross our fingers. It works. Um, I don't know if I can get by real quick. Um, uh, let me turn this. I hate turning it off. All right. Um, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. All right. Here is a little area that never gets seen in the videos. It is the bedroom window. One of two. I was showing the other video, the other window, but it's a little messy. Because I had to clear this whole little area out. Looks fantastic now. It did it a minute ago. <laughs> this, I love these curtains. I got them. I had them in the kitchen, I think, one time. I thought they're so pretty because it's like um, remind me like of a house you would have on the beach. You know, a beach house. So we can pretend this is my beach house, although I've been here for freaking ever. I like those curtains, they're really pretty. 
And right now I have that wonderful fan which feels so good. It is 70 degrees outside and we're going to be hitting June soon. Next week is June, but today's Wednesday and even tonight it might be hot. Wednesday's going to start getting hot and the, the uh, what is it, the, you know, he said it's going to be like really humid. I know Thursday and Friday it's going to be almost like 80 at nighttime. So it is time to put the big boy in. Yep, it is time to put the air conditioner in and I'll get a lot of hits on the video when I first bought it and put it in. So I thought, you know, everybody who bought it, this is actually our second one. I couldn't tell you which one actually was the first, first one. But uh, this is number two and I'm going to be showing how you put it back in after it's been dormant all winter. I had it kept right there in that spot. I mean, it's, it's a, it's quite large. You can see it's almost as big as this dresser, which is ridiculous. Actually, that dresser's not too big. Oh, the bottom drawer don't work. That's why it's taped closed. I know, I know. Yeah, Enrico put it together for me. I wouldn't have the heart to tell him it broke. <laughs> it doesn't work right. It never, he couldn't get it right. He tried so hard and we wound up putting that, the bad drawer on the bottom, kept it empty. And I, he doesn't know I had to tape it closed. It just wouldn't, if, if he knew that, that would drive him nuts. Yeah, actually it looks like crap. It's all chipping off and it's not even that old. I don't even, not, if that's a, oh, I'm getting way off subject. Boy, I have a lot of white things in here now that I look at it, my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in. I know I'm long-winded. I'll be getting to it, the details, and I'll show you. That is the that is the dreaded, annoying thing that goes from the window to that. It, it's so annoying. This thing takes up so much room. It's unbelievable. All right, I'll be putting this on in a minute. And I'll show you more.